Hey y'all, what's up? It's Bree, and today I'm back with another video. And as you can see, this is gonna be a story time video. Um, basically, I have a son, and when I was having my son, I did not know I was in labor, which I know that is really rare. Um, so yeah, when I tell y'all like I had no pain during my labor, um, it's just really funny story. So if you're interested in hearing about that, then go ahead and stay tuned. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. All right, y'all. So, um, if you watch me, then you know I have a son. My son will be four this coming April. So I got pregnant. I don't remember how old I was. How old I was? I was like 18. I got pregnant at 18. I had my son like 19. Um, 22 now, I'll be 23 next month. Who cares? Like, why am I selling y'all all my business? <laughs> anyway, okay, so basically, okay, the night before I had my son, I was like cleaning up and just doing stuff, like getting prepared, like cleaning up, like packing my bag, doing stuff like that. Um, and I was like, I was telling my mom, like, damn, I'm like, I don't feel good. I just felt. I just felt like I just wanted to lay down and just, I felt like I was getting sick. Like I just didn't feel good. And mom was like, girl, go sit down. Like nothing's wrong with you. Like you're not about to have this baby right now. I think I had my son like 30, 37, 38 weeks. Um, so she was like, you're not about to have this baby right now, whatever. Um, so I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just still cleaning up. So the next day I just so happened to have a doctor's appointment. So I went to my doctor's appointment my doctor, my doctor was like, okay, we're going to do a stress test on you. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, stress test is basically they hook you up to a monitor and they're saying like, <clears throat> um, just checking the baby to make sure the baby okay. And she gave me this buzzer and she was like, every time you feel your, your baby move, click the buzzer. And I was noticing like I wasn't feeling him move. So like throughout the whole t stress test, I was there for like an hour doing the test and I probably felt him move like one or two times. And she was like, that's that's weird. And she looked, she was um, looking at the chart. It was like, it was, when you have a baby, like you, there's a chart that shows your contractions. And she was like, looking at it, she was like, these contractions are pretty intense. Like you should be feeling something. And I'm just like, nah, I don't feel nothing. And she was like, that's so weird. Like, are you sure? And I'm just like, yeah, I don't feel anything. So she was like showing me, she was like all of these, the like up things, like it go up and down. She was like, all the ones that are up, like she was like, those should be really intense. Like you should feel something. I'm just like, no, I'm ready to go so I can go eat. <laughs> so she was like, okay, let me just check you and see if you dilated any. So I'm like, okay. So I went into the room and whatever. And she checked me and she was like, you're five centimeters. You're about to have this baby right now. And I'm just like, what? My hair isn't even done. My hair wasn't done. I had no makeup on or nothing. Like, I was not prepared. And she was like, you have to go to the hospital right now because you're gonna have this baby. And I'm just like, no, like what? This is real, like I was so nervous. Not because of the pain, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not prepared. Like I was supposed to do my hair, have my makeup done. Like when I gave birth, I was supposed to be like just slayed and I wasn't. <laughs> so I literally had my hair like in this ball in a ponytail like bun thing and I just had this head scarf tied like a little bow head scarf tied around um so my mom was like are you hungry and I was but I was so nervous that I couldn't eat and so my mom she went to gyros before I actually went to the hospital and she got chicken wings and I had like maybe one chicken wing I don't know I was just so nervous like oh my god I'm about to have a baby not because I'm like scared of the pain so I walked down to the hospital I'm just like Hey, my doctor told me to come here because I'm in labor. I'm about to have this baby, and the receptionist, the receptionist was like, "What?" And I'm just like, "She told me to come here. I'm about to have this baby. Like, what do you mean, what?" And she was like, "Are you sure?" I'm just like, "Yeah. Like, I just saw my doctor. Like, yeah, I'm sure." And she was like, "No one's called." And I'm just like, "Well, you need to check with someone because she told me to come here. I'm in labor right now. <laughs> like, I was so calm, just like talking." And she was like, oh, okay, come on back. So I walked back there and like, they were like staring at me. They were just like, is this real? Because when I tell y'all like, I'm just like, I'm like, oh, I'm in labor, like, oh, hey. <laughs> so they got me hooked up to the monitors, gave me an IV and whatever. And um, I would keep the, there was a male doctor there. So the male doctor broke my water and 
and I um, I was dilating like slowly. For some reason they gave me Pitocin, but I, I'm not sure why they gave me Pitocin. Um, to, Pitocin is basically to help induce your labor, like make your labor go faster. So it's, they gave me that, and when they gave me that, they gave me the IV drop. The baby, I think, um, started stressing or something was happening, so they were like, no, cut that off. So like literally 30 minutes after that, I was fully dilated. Um, I was not in any pain. I was just like, my, I had a lot of back pain. Like I was just like, oh, my back is hurting. And just like my back was hurting really bad. But one to 10, my pain level was probably like a three and it was really from my back. Um, so I'm like, okay, like, it's, okay. So I was 10 centimeters, I was 10 centimeters dilated. And they're like, okay, well we gotta wait for the baby to drop down. And that, like, for me to dilate probably took like an hour, maybe two. Like, it did not take long from the time I got to the hospital to fully dilate to ten to to fully dilate the ten centimeters. So she's like, okay, we gotta wait for the baby to come down. And I'm just like, okay, uh, how long is that gonna take? Like, I'm hungry right now. Like, when I tell y'all, I literally, I literally start crying. I was shaking. And my mom was like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm hungry. Like, get me something. Get me something to drink or something. Like, they wouldn't let me drink. I couldn't eat or anything. Um, they, they would give me ice chips while I would let the ice melt and drink it. Like, I'm just like, no, I'm sit I'm crying. Not because I'm in pain. I'm crying because I wanted to eat. Like, y'all, I was so hungry. I was so thirsty. That was so bad. So we waited. We waited. We waited a long a time, like maybe like three hours or something for him to drop down and he wouldn't. So a lady doctor came in and she was like, push. So I'm like, okay. So I start pushing and she was like, push again. I'm like, okay. Like oh, when I tell you I was so chill, I'm just like, okay, push, uh, pushing, uh. So <laughs> she was like, all right, he's there. We're about to get this baby out. And I'm just like, okay so i pushed and i pushed for about 15 minutes if that and um he he got, he got stuck like they they had to get a, a vacuum to get him out because he he was stressing like as i was pushing i guess my blood pressure was going low or the baby was stressing or whatever and she was like if you don't get this baby out this last push i'm gonna have to cut you open so I went, and I was screaming, but not because I was in pain. I was just like, it's hard to y'all. I had, I had didn't eat at all that day, and having a baby just, it does, it's very, very exhausting. So she was like, if you don't get this baby out, you, you're getting cut up. So I did one big push, like, <sighs> and he came. Uh, and it was so funny because the same time I was having my son, this lady next to me in a, in a different room, like she was to the room next to me, she was screaming. I'm just like, y'all tell that lady to calm down while she's screaming so loud. And they were like, that's what birth sound, that's what giving birth sound like. And I'm just like, she needs to chill. I don't want to hear all that. So, um, yes, yeah, so I pushed my son out and like my mom and his daddy just started crying. And I was just like... <sighs> like y'all know when you, <laughs> when you take a dump and you just feel so relieved it's just like huh, like that's how I felt like <sighs> like dang about time and I just like I didn't cry or anything I, I didn't hold him or nothing like when I had switched rooms to okay so they had the labor and delivery room and then they had like a separate room for when you after you give birth she was like okay you gotta hold a baby now and I'm just like okay like I just felt so so exhausted and so weak and I did get an epidural like the doctor came in and he was like um what's your pain level and I'm just like oh it's like a three I'm not really in pain but just go ahead and give me the epidural because I don't want to feel any pain and I didn't I didn't feel I didn't feel nothing just in my back it was hurting really bad but I had no no pain she like everybody was like that is that is so not normal <laughs> and I'm just like I ain't a normal person <laughs> but um yeah so I gave birth to my son uh, it was like at 8 o'clock at night so I was probably in labor like 8 hours or something if that and it was just waiting for him to come down because I dilated so fast 
only had to dial it like five centimeters. So I dialed it so fast after they broke my water and it was just waiting for him to come down. And I think, here he comes, Jordan. You want to hear you too? I was just talking about you. I was just telling me, I was just telling them um, when mommy had you in my stomach. Are you gonna say hey? Are you being shy? What you gonna tell them about? I ate all the chocolate so I don't fall asleep because my I ate all the chocolate and I ate um, juice because my dinner is don't so, in the clothes. So over the weekend, um, we stayed at my grandma and Jordan, he was up so late and I had went to go lay down and um, he was like, mommy, I'm not ready to go to bed. So I was like, okay, well just go out there with them. And he went out there and snuck and ate a whole thing of chocolate, like the Hershey Kisses, probably had like 10 of them. And he would not fall asleep. And he was like, Mommy, I'm so tired. But he couldn't fall asleep. He was so hyped up on chocolate. You should get a whooping. <laughs> Are you okay? Tell so YouTube bye. Or you want you want me to finish my story? Go shut the door. So, okay, basically, um, I had Jordan and he was just so, he was such a beautiful baby. And I'm like, make sure he got 10 fingers and toes. And so, yeah, like, I did not want to hold him or anything. I was just so freaking exhausted. Um, so she was like, okay, you got to get the baby now when they put me in a wheelchair. So I got him. We went to the other room, and it's been history since, right? You love your mama? Yeah. Your mama's boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So that was my labor story. It was so funny. That is your story. Okay. That was my labor story. Wait. I'm talking. I'm talking. That, but I'm talking. Let me talk to them and then we can finish, okay? <laughs> All right, so that was... <laughs> Stop. Okay, you're going to go if you don't behave. All right, so that was my labor story. It was so funny. Um, if you're having a baby right now, then I wish you the best of luck with your, with your labor and delivery. Hope you deliver safe and have a healthy, beautiful baby. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want, I love my story time videos. They're so funny. If you want more story time, blah, 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 blah. if you want more story time, go ahead, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.